Hey peeps, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a product review. We're going to do a brow product review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Milk Makeup Milk Makeup on this channel. Where we do that at people? Okay, so we're going to be there. Kush is spelled K-U-S-H triple brow pen. You guys can see. And it is definitely in the shade grind you know that pretty Ricky song that's what I got in my mind <laughs> oh God, that's crazy. okay so we're gonna I brought this at TJ Maxx I'm gonna go on their actual website yes it is in TJ Maxx milk makeup I have a clip of me vlogging cuz I am doing vlogs you guys on my channel so make sure you check out um my vlog channel uh, let's look at the actual price of their brow pencil because I paid $7.99 for $7 for this $6.99 so I paid $7 for this so let's actually see the price and the details on what they're saying about their makeup so let's go to makeup let's go to um, so we're gonna go to eye and then, ooh, 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 ooh. now this brand is a little bit on the pricier side so right now on their website right now it's eleven dollars but the actual price right now is 22 but i got a deal honey boo i got a deal i only paid seven dollars <laughs> so go to tj maxx um clean waterproof felt tip eyeliner no actually clean waterproof felt tip liquid eyeliner pen formulated with hem divider hem Hemp divider, canvas seed oil, and blackest black pigmented for up to 24 hour wear. Of course, you know, it's nighttime and I'm not going to wear this for 24 hours, but probably wear it tomorrow and then give you guys an update on it. Probably the next day to see how I would like it. Flip the tip for a good as new aligner. So that's how you probably got to get it going so we got what the brand is actually wanting us to use for it so let's so this is the packaging if you guys don't know like if you go on to your max it's a white packaging keeps the outer box and then oh i'm so excited milk makeup finally in my hand a product and i do have another product for milk makeup but it's over there but it's more of skincare related because they didn't really have a lot of complexion like face complexion products for me to choose from okay so this is the product okay this is the product I'm a little nervous about this but we're gonna use this okay so this is what it looks like um if y'all can see that's what it looks like I'm put that right back. so I can do my usual steps first I think I always do but whenever I actually start my makeup routine I like to actually prime and then make sure my brows are sculpted out a certain way so what I like to do is take this Emacs this Emacs is this Emacs I think it is yes it's from Emacs designs I remember the packaging from the other brush so I'm gonna be taking the Emacs designs brush I'm just gonna school like sculpt them out just a little bit See how nice I use my brush and I take it upward towards the temple part, like right at the temple. That's how far I'll go. Now, I'm a little bit skeptical about the color choice that I did. used to be using a pencil, but this is not a pencil. Pokachoon, so let's see how this works. It is a little liquidy. It's like a pen. So... Oh no, hmm. I don't like it because I like how I I will probably do better off using my ooh, and I about dropped it. So let me go ahead and do this eye over because I'm not liking how my brows look already. I have a certain way I like to do my brows, and this is not it. 
maybe I can use it to fill in but using it as a sculpting and, and starting point for my sharper edge tip because no ma'am mm -mm. I'm gonna take my original product that I usually love to use is the LA colors first and then I'm gonna fill in with the milk <laughs> this still kind of count as a full review but no I don't like how that look at first so I'm gonna go ahead and sh stop talking and Now we're going to go in with the milk product and then we're going to see what it looks like. Okay, filling in is a lot better than actually using it as a starter point. I'm okay with the choice of color that I did use, but it's a little wet. If you guys look closely, it definitely applies wet and then it dries out. I don't know, like... I'm so sure, unsure if I like this or not. I don't know, like, look, it looks. Oh, God. Girl, I'm struggling. I don't know, you guys. We don't, we don't, we don't say looking pretty good. It's just this eye is not. And it's like the more. I'm gonna do my concealer and everything. I'm gonna take the LA Colors Concealer Concealer and deep, and I'm gonna set everything, and I'm gonna come back with. So my next step I like to do is definitely go in with a setting powder and I'm going to go in with the Morphe. This is their banana and set powder. Actually the banana bake and set setting powder. And I really love this setting powder. It's so
using the LA Colors Brow Gel and I'm going to be applying the LA Colors Brow Gel to the brows because usually I like to let them set in place. And I'm gonna go ahead and let them sit for a little bit. I'm gonna come back with my face done. And okay, you guys, the brows. The brows, they turn out okay with me adding a little bit more product to it. Now it is a little bit liquid on the on the side, like the brows are just a little bit liquid. I wish it was less liquidy so I could actually perform a lot better. Now I do like the packaging from this product. I am so excited. Even though this is my, my very first milk makeup review, I was like, yes, 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 it's a final. Well, actually not my final, but it's like my very first review of the product. And I do like the fact that I can use this as a fill-in instead of a starter for the brow look but that is my final thoughts of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys thought of how everything applied and everything and let me know what you guys think about it and yes i do have a vlog channel and i will have that link below because i am posting content on that channel so make sure you guys tune in over there and i gotta go and i'll see you later bye guys